Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video. If you're new here, my name is Lauren and in today's video I thought I'd do something a little bit fun, a little bit chill, and I'm just going to show you guys some of the cruelty-free makeup that I've been finding lately and that I've been using and uh, do like a full face with it. So let's just get started. So I've already applied my moisturizer, which is also my sunscreen, which is also cruelty-free. So I decided to pick up the Derma E Vitamin E I can't speak today, guys. Already, can't talk. So this is the Derma E Vitamin C Weightless Moisturizer SPF 45. And I just started using this. It's pretty thick. It's much thicker than my Neutrogena one that I had been using. So I was using, using the Neutrogena Healthy Defense. This is not cruelty free, so I wanted to try something new. So I went for the Derma E and I think it's pretty good so far it's just really thick so just keep that in mind but it's been working well so far it, it definitely feels moisturizing it's just it takes a lot longer to like dry down so I can go into my makeup step so that's how that's been going so my other two cruelty free base products that you guys have seen before are the Smashbox Primerizer and the elf poreless putty primer and so I'm just gonna apply those really quickly. You don't need to see that. You guys have seen that before. I did another kind of get ready with me and I use these two products. So I'll link that video down below if you wanna see me just apply these. Just kind of standard application. So the next cruelty-free product that I'm gonna put on is the Merit Perfecting Complexion Stick. And this is in the shade, I'll put it somewhere on the screen, but this is what it looks like stick foundation well they call it like it's not a foundation or a concealer I guess it can be used for both so I have been using this foundation and it also comes you can also pick up the merit foundation brush or complexion brush not sure what this is actually called I will also put that somewhere and I was actually gifted a couple of merit products so pretty exciting so I thought I would try them out and this one I've been trying out for the last couple of weeks and the thing that I noticed about this is the only way that it looks good on my dry skin is to like pat it in so I'll just show you guys how I do it. I have my mirror right here off screen so I can actually see what I'm doing. And so if I was, so I have to like pat it into the skin like this because if I swipe it, it looks crazy. And if I use a sponge, it looks crazy. And if I use my fingers, it also looks crazy. And by crazy, I mean it just like sinks into my pores and like connects to every dry patch of skin. And that's just like a little different than I was expecting because it's supposed to be like kind of a clean, lightweight sort of makeup product. And it's a lot more matte than I was expecting. I expected it to be very like skin-like, but I feel like it's a little bit more matte. But I would just make sure your skin is like super, 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 super hydrated. And I would use like a pore filling primer if I was you. I mean, the, the, if you have skin, if you feel like you have skin like mine, I have like very dry, um, like large pores. So if you have that, <laughs> this is what you should do, but maybe it works really great on oily skin. And if you use this and you have oily skin, that's like amazing, definitely comment down below. Because I'm sure there's people who have different skin type, a different skin type that my, than mine that would appreciate, you know, another perspective when it comes to makeup. That's why I love makeup videos because it's like, you can follow people that have a similar skin type to you and see what their take is on it, but also you can follow people who have different skin than you just to see what their experience is you know people are all different and everyone's got different skin and different needs when it comes to makeup so it's nice to get different perspectives so yeah so that's just it I just put it kind of all over it's just like a light kind of coverage it kind of just blurred some of the redness covered some of the redness that I have in like my cheeks and my chin I just rubbed my nose because it's quite itchy today um, but I could just do like a little bit the tip of my nose and like just cover that up yeah so 
it's pretty good. I've been trying to find a replacement for this. It's the Neutrogena Radiant Tinted Moisturizer because Neutrogena is not cruelty free, which stinks. Um, so, you know, this is nice. It's nice, a nice like medium coverage. I, I could wear this kind of on like a no makeup day. It's pretty good, you know. I haven't tried on any blemishes, so. But I have a feeling it would show all of the dryness. So, just keep that in mind. Must have very hydrated skin for this guy. Okay, so moving on to concealer. I recently discovered this beauty, which I will never go back to any other concealer because it's so good. It's so expensive, <laughs> but it's so good. Uh, so it's the Kosas Revealer Super Creamy Brightening Concealer. Why does nobody put the shades on here, guys? Oh, this is 01N. Oh, and this is the color Silk, amazing. Okay, so the foundation was Silk. And then the concealer is 01N. Uh, and I love this stuff. It's so like creamy and just feels so good on my dry eyes. And I just use a makeup sponge. I should have probably wet said sponge before applying the concealer, but you know, it's, it's a chill video. It's a chill video. I would I would suggest wetting your sponge because, or I also sometimes use my finger. Just why not? You know, it's such an easy concealer to work with. It's so creamy, as per the name. It just like blends out so nice, and it doesn't like sink into my fine lines. Like sometimes I get a little bit of creasing, but it definitely doesn't accentuate my my fine lines and my dry skin so we love her she oh so good if there's one thing you can take from this video it's this beautiful concealer this is like a godsend for my dark circles like even just just like brightened up my eyes now I don't look tired or, or as tired so the next thing from Merit that I picked up are these cheek colors this is the cheek color and I got cheeky in and Beverly Hills and cheeky is like a more like kind of berry pink and then Beverly Hills is more like peachy that's them and then if I like kind of blend it out a little bit I'm gonna go for cheeky which is like the berry one and I feel like they want you to like rub it on your face, but I just use a brush. So I'm using the e.l.f. buffing foundation brush. I just like pat it on and then just tap it onto the cheeks. I don't know why. I think because I'm afraid I'm gonna like push the foundation off of my skin if I don't use this like tapping brush. Maybe if I wasn't wearing makeup and I just wanted like blush, I would just kind of push this onto my skin, but I don't know, there's something about it. But ah, uh, so nice. It just really like sinks into the skin and looks like a, like a nice flush. I feel like with my other blushes, I can really go overboard. They're so pigmented. And this is pigmented, but it's not like a line of product. It feels very like diffused I guess is the word it might be looking a little crazy in, on the camera but it looks pretty good in, in real life anything to avoid going overboard I'm in I'm in for it the next merit product that they sent me was the highlighting balm and it's in the color kava it looks like this let me just very I don't know if you guys can see it oh it's right there I like this because it's not a super shiny highlighter I, you know, got into makeup at a time when like Mary Luminizer was all the rage. I can now appreciate a super subtle highlight. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's right here. And I just use my finger and pat it on. I've been trying this out for a couple of weeks now. And I felt like when I was just kind of drawing it on, 
that it was pulling the foundation off or like sitting on top of the skin and this way I have full control and I can kind of get it warm with my finger and then it kind of just looks like it's sinking in to the skin. Now that I put cream products over my face, I can go in with my powders. So you guys have seen this one before I did this. In, I used this in my last Get Ready With Me. It's the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed. And I realize now that I am not gonna repurchase this because it's quite drying. It does blur my pores, but under my eyes, it really draws attention to the fine lines. And so maybe I'm just using too much. I use quite a large brush and I think next time I wash my brushes, I'm gonna use a smaller brush, like a true like eyeshadow brush, maybe something like this size to do under my eyes because I think maybe I'm just using too much, but feels quite tight and then it really accentuates my fine lines under my eyes. So I think I'm gonna try that and then if that doesn't work, I'm gonna try the Kosas uh, Cloud Set under my eyes because I've heard many good things about that. But for now, we're using the IT Cosmetics here. And we're just using this little tiny Morphe M536 brush and going under the eyes. And then you can really see my pores like right here. So I like to put the powder there as well. Just in the center of my face. Okay, so moving on to bronzer. I'm using the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer, which is an oldie but a goodie. Again, I just opened a new one. So, love her. There's many bronzers out there. This, I don't, I don't really, there's nothing really special about this bronzer specifically other than it's like super light, but you know, I bought it a while ago, so now I'm gonna use it. And Too Faced is cruelty free, so that's the point of this video. So I'm just going in with a Delium Tools 945 brush. So the funny part about this bronzer is I was using an, an old one that was, I guess, really old, because I opened this new one and used the same level of product, and I put it on my face and it was too much. So they either made this more pigmented or the other one was just so old that there wasn't any pigment left. It was, it was chaotic. I was like, I have literally a headband of bronzer on my head now from this mistake. And then sometimes if it feels like too much, I just take a fluffy brush and just, you know, blend it out. When in doubt, blend it out. So now I'm gonna start with the eyes. I am using the Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer from Wet n Wild. There she is, look at that beauty. I don't love this so far, so I've been using this for, I don't know, two months now. I really like the texture of this product, but it's just like too grippy. Like if I accidentally get this into like my concealer or if I put it too far over my eye and then some foundation gets on it, it's like crusty and it doesn't come off. Like I just have like a clump of primer or whatever, eye primer. So I really have to like make sure I blend it out and don't get it anywhere else because it's like glue once you get it on. You cannot remove with just like a, a wipe. So it's bad for me because I'm messy, but it could be good for you if you don't want your makeup to go anywhere. And then for brows, I have a couple like brow things. I've been using the Wet n Wild Retractable Brow Pencil. I don't like love this. It's just quite thick. So it's thick on one side and thin on the other. It's just like quite a like thick pen. But I mean, it fills my eyebrows. I have quite, um, sparse eyebrows, may I'll see me guys in. So you guys can see I have quite sparse eyebrows, so I'll kind of use this to fill them in. And then I also have this guy, which is the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. So just depends on what I'm looking for. I'm either looking for, you know, a super dense brow or something a little more subtle. I'll go with the NYX. So, Today I'm gonna just do my regular like very dense brow and 
I'll show you guys how I use this. So it's really just to fill in the eyebrows and thankfully I have quite dark eyebrows so I think I get like a little bit of wiggle room. It would take a lot for me to like have them look crazy, I think. I mean, you you guys tell me if if this looks overboard. But I also don't use that much. I'm not like drawing in like a thick outline. Kind of put a little bit and then I brush it out, put a little bit and brush it out. So you guys can kind of see like this is the brow that I didn't fill. And then this is the other brow. So pretty, pretty big difference, but I feel like it doesn't look crazy either. So then, just add a little tiny bit of brow gel. And this is the e.l.f. Brow Wow Brow Gel in Neutral Brown. And then uh, the Retractable Brow Pen is in Ash Brown. So in case you want to have brows this color, those are the colors. Yeah, so we put a little brow gel in and then I, I brush that through also. The key is to just like brush it through. And like see on this side, like the front is like filled in a little bit more, so now I have to go back in and just make sure they look a little like they're friends. Okay, that looks fine. All right, so now for eyeshadow. So we have the Beauty Bakery Bite Size Get That Dough eyeshadow palette. Super cute. And then we have the Topes by Juvia's Place, which is also super pretty. And I think I'm gonna go for this one today. And the first thing I'm gonna dip into oh, with my e.l.f. blending eye shadow brush. This guy is this kind of neutrally brown. I'm just gonna put that in the grease, you know? Why not? We're gonna make it a simple, easy eye today, which somehow I never do. I always start off with every makeup look being like, today's gonna be like a subtle day. We're gonna go neutral and, and, and very natural and it'll look, and then I add shimmer and I'm like, no, today was not a natural day. And this is just to give some like depth to my crease. Yeah. Next, I'm gonna just take this shimmery guy, which is super, super, super pretty, and put it all over the lid. Because this is what subtle is for me. Just an all over lid shimmer. It's cool. Could be quite subtle though. Like, I'm gonna put this on, you guys are gonna be like, are you even wearing makeup? I don't know if you're gonna say that. I like it. And these don't have a ton of fallout. This middle guy right, right here has a lot of fallout because it's a bit of a chunkier formula. But the other two are nice. Not that that one's ni not nice. I just need to use like my finger instead of a brush. Yeah, subtle, right? Am I even wearing shimmery shadow? Who knows? So then I'm gonna use this little tiny smudge brush and I'm gonna use this like the darkest gray here and then just put that in the outer corner. It, we, we do it simple over here. We, uh, you know, this is kind of making the eye look kind of more round, I guess. If you want to make your eye look bigger, you put a light color on the inside and a dark color on the outside. And that's the rules. <laughs> no, it just adds more definition to the eye, I guess. I'm no makeup guru. I just like makeup. 
So yeah, you can kind of see the difference. Like this, there's no dark, and then this there is. So it just adds like a little bit of definition on the outer corner. Some depth. And you just blend it out a little bit into that shimmer. Cute. So now for mascara, we have two. I have the Rare Beauty Mascara in Black, which is nice for like a more kind of everyday look. And then we have the Essence Lash Princess in the False false lash effect in the waterproof version. This is what we're gonna use today. So I'm gonna do my mascara off camera and then I'll be right back. All right, so while I was doing my mascara, I found a little like glitter on my face and then I like rubbed it. So now this like cheek is more red than this cheek. And also if you guys can see, like you can kind of see I rubbed it and the foundation kind of went into my pores right here. So just, Heads up, that's what's happening for me. Uh, but this is the eyes all done. What do you think? I think they came out cute. Cruelty free, baby. So then, I'm also quite warm. I took my sweater off. I'm just wearing a t-shirt now, but I am going to put on the Hydrating Milky Mist from Pixie. Soothing Mist. So let's hope it soothes me. The opening was not where I thought it would be, so I also sprayed my arm, which we love. Oh, I'm so warm and this feels so nice. Okay, so all that's left is lips. Should I zoom you guys out a little bit? So I have a couple of cruelty-free lip products that I've been really loving lately. So I did get gifted these two for Merit, and I managed to get two colors that were very similar by mistake. I thought this was more of like a deep berry and it's more of just like a kind of darker pink. And then I thought this was like a peachy pink and it's more just like a pink. So these are <laughs> quite similar, but, so this is the tinted, both of these are the tinted lip oil. And this is in Marrakesh. And then this one is in Pink Beat. I will, I will swatch them for you. So the top one is Pink Beat, and then this bottom one is Marrakesh. So, and then I also found these two Smashbox products, which I am very excited about. I'm not like, I don't know, like hear that much talked about from Smashbox, but they've been really making some good lip products. So we have the Always On Crim, oh my gosh, Always On Cream to Matte Lipstick, and this is in the, the color Out Loud which is a beautiful, like, ready orange. Ugh, so nice. And then this is the Always On Liquid Lipstick from Smashbox, and this is in the color Boss Up, which is described as a rose terracotta, but it's mostly, so it looks pretty rosy on my hand, but then it dries down a little bit darker. So that's Boss Up in the liquid lipstick. So these are our choices today. And I think I'm gonna go with Marrakesh. I think that'll look pretty with this like simple basic sort of look. And what I've been doing also is like aligning my lips first and then using the lip oil. I think it just like gives like kind of a more finished look. So I'm gonna go in with the NYX retractable lip liner in sand beige. But then I'm just going to go over the edges and kind of make it a little less perfect. And then just gonna finish it with the tinted lip oil. I'm not someone who loves lip gloss, but I like this because it's very lightweight, doesn't feel very heavy on the lips, and it adds a nice shine, and it's not sticky. 
and it feels like it's doing something good. You know, as a lip oil, I feel like it's probably nourishing in some way, you know? And so I think it's doing something nice for my lips and it feels good. So maybe I'm a convert. Like I'll use this as my kind of lip gloss from now on. Okay, so this is the final look. What do you guys think? Do you use any of these products? Do you like them? And is there any other cruelty-free makeup that you think I should try because I'm open to anything. I'll try anything. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's kind of different for me, but I just didn't want to have to change my clothes like a hundred times today. So I decided to sit down and make a little makeup video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss anything from me, make sure to subscribe. I put out new videos every Sunday and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.